Hello Vinyl Community, it's Matt here again. Uh, today I am finally pulling a few records out of the stack back here that I've mentioned. So this goes back almost a year, to be honest with you. And I've had a stack of records gradually accumulating and these are all records that I haven't shown in any of my YouTube videos. So today's the day we're going to make just a tiny little dent in that stack. Now, these, uh, these records really go from one extreme to the other and you'll see what I mean just with the, the genres they cover and uh, the, the, just the types of albums they are. But we'll get into that. So let's start off with uh, T-Rex. And this is uh, T-Rex Gold. This is a UK import, double LP, 180 gram vinyl. And uh, because it's a UK import, I had to order it online, of course. Really super pleased to pick this up. I, I, uh, uh, I, wouldn't, I, I was going to say I'm a big fan of T-Rex. I mean, you know, it's not like I collect stuff by them, but I, I like a lot of their songs. You yeah, know, there's Mark Bolin on the front here, kind of a, a legendary figure in, uh, in rock circles. And it's got all the, all, the, all the classic stuff on it. I didn't know all the songs, but I know quite a lot of them. So we've got Rider White Swan, uh, Hot Love, Get It On, Jeepster, Telegram Sam, Metal Guru, Children of the Revolution, Solid Gold Easy Action, which is actually not a song that I knew uh, before listening to the album, but what a great track that is. We've got um, 20th Century Boy, The Groover, and most of the songs on uh, the fourth side I, I wasn't familiar with, but... But yeah, just a classic, you know, mostly glam rock for the most part. And uh, yeah, I, I picked this up probably about eight months ago, something like that. And don't remember what I paid for it. I think it was somewhere around $30, something like that. Now, this is a really recent pickup. I just bought this within the last week or two. And it is 80s Symphonic. And uh, I got this from a uh, local record store. I was in there. I was just looking through the new arrivals. You know, they got boxes where uh, they put all of those records and uh, never heard of this. Now, it turns out I actually could have bought it brand new for less than two dollars <laughs> more than I paid for it new. But or I paid for it used. I'm sorry. But I didn't know that at the time. I'd never heard of the album. I gave it a real quick spin in the record store. And I was I was. Uh, not blown away, but I was really impressed with it. I, I, it was a, what a great idea. So they've taken original 80s songs and they've set them to an orchestral track. So you've got um, original vocals, um, original drums, I believe, in most cases, and, and some other parts of the song are original too, but they've obviously stripped back quite a bit as well. Here's the back of it. So you can see the track listing classics on here from Bowie, Aha, Simple Minds. Um, my favorite songs on here, my favorite versions of the songs on here are probably Ultravox Vienna, uh, Aha Take On Me, Echo and the Bunny and the Kelly Moon. That's, that sounds fantastic on here. Um, mm, maybe The Cars Drive, that also sounds pretty good. Oh, and Simple Minds Alive and Kicking, that, that, that's also... Uh, that's also really nice. Some of the songs work a little better than others with the orchestral track, but they're all good. And yeah, this was $14.99. Like I said, I could have bought it like for $16 something brand new on Amazon, but I, I didn't know that. And if I hadn't seen it in the record store, I might have never heard of it. So really, really pleased to pick that up. Next up, now don't laugh, don't judge. I told you we're gonna we're going all over the map here. Okay. NSYNC self-titled album from what was this from? 98, I think, 97. Geez, I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, 98. Okay. Now, this this was super cheap. It was uh, it was from a seller on eBay that I bought quite a few things from before, and I honestly don't remember the name of the seller. But and um, anyway, they they sell new vinyl amongst other things, and I don't know if they've got it, it, it's all Urban Outfitters stuff. So I don't know if they got like overstock from there. I don't know if they bought a bunch of stuff from from Urban Outfitters and they're trying to make money off of it. I don't know. But I got the, my uh, copy of the Titanic soundtrack from them as well. And I think one or two other albums that I also have. But this ended up being that I won the auction for like, it was like four or five dollars plus shipping. So even with shipping, it was under, under 10 bucks. I thought it was a pretty good deal. You know, it's not like it's a classic album or anything, but it's, 
it's got Tearing Up My Heart on it, which I thought was a pretty good pop song, and one or two others that I liked. So, uh, yeah, why not? For less than $10. Brand new. I think it's is it on colored vinyl. Yeah, it's on clear vinyl. Uh, you know what? I'll show it to you here real quick. I'll show it to you. Uh, do, 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 do. Get this out. Here it is. It's, that's kind of nice right there. Pretty cool. Almost looks silver with the... Uh, the grooves in the record. Now, the final record is one that I just also got really recently. This was from uh, about a week ago, 10 days ago, something like that. And I traded in, I was going to make a video about it, I didn't do it, but anyway, I traded in two copies of Magical Mystery Tour by the Beatles. I had bought a MoFi version for $40. I did not realize that apparently that uh, the Magical Mystery Tour is kind of infamous <laughs> among among mobile fidelity circles as being terrible. Um, it not probably not mobile fidelity's fault. It's probably the fault of EMI somewhere down the line. They would have requested the tapes from uh, mobile fidelity would have requested the tapes from EMI the master tapes and and EMI probably just sent them the same thing that that they'd sent to Capital back in 67 to make the LP. The problem is that three of the tracks on their own are in geophonic, so it's fake stereo. And it's obvious, I, it's the funniest thing, I'd never noticed it before, but it's the same thing. It was the same thing on my, uh, uh, I had a, not an original pressing, but an earlier pressing of the original mix. So anyway, long story short, I bought another copy, which I'll show another time, the 2012 reissue, where they fixed that stereo issue. And, um, so I got a bit of store credit from uh, the Rat Hole in Riverside. So I ended up picking up a couple of albums, and this is one of them. Eminem Curtain Calls. Now, uh, this was $34. I could have bought it for, honestly, like $9 cheaper online or something. But I was like, whatever, I have the store credit. So, um, yeah, so it's like a, it's a Greatest Hits, or a Greatest Hits as of 2005 this was released. So why not? I like a bit of Eminem. I like quite a bit, few of the songs on here. Um, there is a, a track listing error. They have Stan listed as track one on side B, but I think it's actually flipped and it's on side A. And I, I googled it, and I guess that was a well-known issue uh, on both the UK and the US versions of this. They had a they had the incorrect track listing on the back, but um, yeah, it's all good. Why not? I like a bit of Eminem. Two two LP set. All of the classics up to 2005. So he has Stan, um, Real Slim Shady, like Toy Soldiers, Without Me, uh, Sing for the Moment, Lose Yourself. Uh, I don't know what else we got in there. Cleaning Out My Closet. So yeah, why not? All right. So that's just a little dent. Like I said, we kind of went, went from one extreme to the other there. We've gone from sort of the more classic rock, glam rock anyway, of T-Rex. We've moved on to rap. We've got Eminem. We've got some 80s stuff right there. NSYNC, cheesy 90s pop. It's all over the map. But, you know, you guys know me. I, I like all different kinds of music. So anyway, that's it. Um, please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to subscribe and uh, see more of my videos. If you hit the bell icon, you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Always appreciate you guys' comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.